Hi everyone, this is Matt, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about plagiarism checkers, especially the free ones, because I don't want you to spend a cent. Um, so most likely your university has access to Turnitin and they will check your essay, your thesis, whatever it is on Turnitin to make sure it's original work. And the problem with Turnitin is that they don't offer personalized accounts. So they would only offer an account to an institution like a school, like a university. So you may not have access to it, but you will still probably want to use a plagiarism checker. And this is why I checked, well, over 20 free plagiarism checkers, right? And now I'm going to show you which ones work, which ones don't. And I found out that 12 free plagiarism checkers don't work at all. Six of them do. And then I have another few which, which are paid um, that work so-so. So let's let's have a look. First of all, I created this document here. This is only 460 words. And what you see here in green, that is my PhD thesis. Um, so this should be original work. This is over five years old now. And then in red, what you see here, this is one of my papers. I literally just copy pasted text from my paper, specifically from this website. So this must come up. There is no way that this text here shouldn't come up. It went straight from a paper, from a website. And well, this is my PhD thesis, which could come up as plagiarized because I submitted this PhD thesis to Turnitin years and years ago, but Turnitin's depository is private. So unless you submit it to Turnitin, it will probably not show that this is plagiarism, plagiarized because after all, this is, this is my own original work. But okay, having said all of that, let's look at the um, free plagiarism checkers. We're going to start with this one. Now, this is telling me that I have 65% unique text and 35 plagiarized. Let's have a look. So this is actually my PhD thesis. This is all fine. And now here with this word, the... This is where the paper starts and all of this, all of that section should be plagiarized. All of this. Now, the fact that this sentence here in the middle is not plagiarized, it, well, it says that it's not plagiarized. It really makes me question this website called plagiarismdetected.net simply because all of this came from one source. Why would you not pick this up? This is a bit weird. So I wouldn't trust this website simply because of that, because this is just such an obscure thing to do to not flag up this one sentence in the middle. So moving forward, when I checked this Edubirdy and well, it tells me that 86% of my text is unique, is original, which is just not correct. You can see that it picked up some text in, my, in the PhD thesis section Sometimes you just picked up, you know, individual words in, by, which to, which is just really weird. But then as I scroll down, it didn't pick up anything from the paper. So I wouldn't recommend this. This definitely doesn't work. The next website was editpart.org. And well, editpart.org says that 99% of my text is unique. 1% is plagiarized. Only that came up as plagiarism, plagiarized. So that is definitely not okay either. Then we have papersowl.com. Again, 86% of this text apparently is original. Um, you can see that parts of the text from my PhD thesis are plagiarized now, but nothing really from the paper here in the end. Um, so I wouldn't recommend papers owl either. Then I went to this website, which was supposed to be a free plagiarism checker. My assignment help. I typed in my my tag. Well, I copy pasted my text, and then it immediately showed me this. But now I have to pay four dollars to to see my plagiarism report for this text. Now, first of all, I don't like websites where you know I don't like websites where they show they tell you that something is for free. And then they ask you for money. And also, the other thing is, this is not a good setup. Because if you run it once, you pay $4. 
then you will tweak something, you will want to run it again, you will tweak something, you will want to run it again until you get your, your document up to, you know, the point where you want it to be. So really you would probably go for this, for this 10 report setup, which is $30. So that's not okay, that's just, that's just too much. And again, we don't even know whether this website actually works because I can't just, you know, um, run it for free. Um, at least have a trial. Now, we have this website called Instant Assignment Help, and unfortunately, it tells me that 95% of my text is unique, which is just not correct. And it's not even, it's only showing me that this part here was plagiarized. So, I wouldn't use this website either, that's just not okay. Um, and then we have this plagiarism checker.ai, and again, it's, it, it's the same story. I typed in, I copy pasted my text and then it immediately asked me for money. Again, now I have to buy a subscription of five pound, five dollars a month. I can't run it for free to check whether it actually works fine. And they don't have a, um, like a free trial version or anything for a couple of days. So I really don't trust this. And there's no way to check this unless you're gonna pay. So I wouldn't recommend this. And then we have this website here, which is well, plagiarism.studyclerk.com. Again, same problem. It just doesn't work. What is supposed to be plagiarized, apparently it's not. And then my PhD thesis, which is not plagiarized, um, is, is highlighted. So that's just not okay. Then I had this website, PlugScan, apparently by Turnitin. Um, I had to set up an account and, you know, I uploaded my text. The whole thing took quite a while, actually. And then suddenly in the end, it is asking me to add credit, five, five credits, apparently. So I have to now pay um, to check whether this text is plagiarized or not. And again, this is just not okay because, you know, then you will have to pay for every single report when you upload something. And you don't even have a chance here to check whether this actually works well. So I disagree with this. Then I checked cheapest essay. And again, guys, this just is still thinking 20 minutes later. It's not giving me any response. So I would pass this. And now finally, finally, we're moving to the websites that actually do work. So this is smallseotools.com. And look, this is my PhD thesis, nothing highlighted, and this is the paper. Whole paper is highlighted, right? This is something you can trust. This is something that actually works. And, and I would definitely recommend using this. Then the next website was this Q text. And again, this was great. I just started thinking, but look, the paper is fully highlighted. The PhD thesis is not highlighted at all. So I would also recommend Qtext as another website. And I think I think all of these web three websites that actually do work, they allow you to um, type in 1,000 words at a time. So you can use these websites, play with them. Now, the next one I used was app.copyleaks.com. And again, this is great. This is absolutely fine. It highlighted the paper in entirely. It didn't highlight the... Um, the PhD thesis, except this little reference, which is fine. Highlighting a small reference is absolutely fine. And on this note, when you see reports um, from um, Turnitin or anything like that from plagiarism checkers, if it highlights the references, that's, that's absolutely fine. If it, whether in text or long references, sometimes it might highlight your methods as well. So as a molecular biologist, I would, you know, create solutions, buffers. And for example, you would create saline and there's only, you know, a very limited um, ways you can, you can say that, you know, you mixed such and such amount of salt with such and such amount of water, you know, salt with water or water with salt. There, is, there are not many options here for you. So methods often get highlighted as well and no one bats an eyelid. Uh, that's absolutely fine. So don't worry about, you know, little things like that or, you know, or single sentences. Um, 
what you should worry if when you see a block like this or maybe even three four sentences like this highlighted when that's not okay okay the next one was check dash plagiarism.com and again i'm very pleased with this look the phd thesis is not highlighted the paper is fully highlighted which is great that's exactly what we wanted to see then we had trustmypaper.com same story it works absolutely fine um phd thesis not highlighted the paper highlighted great that's exactly exactly what you want um and then we have this website called duplichecker.com and again have a look phd thesis is not highlighted at all and then the paper is highlighted so this gives us all together six websites six free checkers that actually do work and i think this was 10 checkers plagiarism checkers that did not work so go through this video again and have a look but these are these are the ones that actually these six the last six that actually work and they are worth using when you're checking your essays your dissertations whatever it is but now let's look at the paid options so I started with Grammarly. So Grammarly claims that they have a free option here. Um, but honestly, you use the free option and it doesn't really tell you anything. It doesn't highlight anything. It just tells you that there is a significant plagiarism found. And then if you want to go into the um, pricing, what you need is this £10 premium, so probably $12 uh, premium option. And look, it says catch accidental plagiarism. That honestly doesn't give me much faith in Grammarly and I probably wouldn't um, wouldn't use it. Also, they don't have a um, free trial version, so you can't even use it for a couple of days to make sure it's fine or not. The next I used was Killbot. Now, I paid for Killbot. I paid $20 for it. This is a monthly subscription, but it counts with a three-day free trial. So if you don't like it or if you don't actually want to pay $20 and you want this money to be refunded to you, then you can subscribe and then within three days, if you unsubscribe, you can, you can get your money back. Uh, but anyway, for that $20, I got possibility to check 100 pages. And these 500 words that I had here um, somehow amounts to two pages. So essentially 100 pages is, what, 25,000 words, isn't it? So for $20, you will get 25,000 words, which I don't think it's much. So it's, so it's rather expensive, but it did work. So look, it did highlight me the paper. It didn't highlight the PhD thesis. It only highlighted this reference. But again, the point here, this outcome is no different from the free plagiarism checkers. So why pay? Why pay if you can get this, then get the same results? So if you don't want to check, you know, 25,000 words at once, and you just want to check, you know, 1,000 pages, 1,000 words here, 1,000 words there, whatever it is, you can use these six websites that I mentioned earlier that work absolutely fine and it's for free. So, so honestly, I don't see much, much point in using this unless you want to scan, well, 25,000 words and you will pay $20 for this. Um, so that's, that's Quillbot. And then the next one I used was Trek. I paid for Trek, I think about $15. Again, Trek comes with um, three day subscription, sorry, free subscription. So I can get my $15 back if I, if I say no to them within three days. And I'm just looking at the plagiarism here. Now it tells me here that this is my paper. So the paper is highlighted here that is plagiarized, which is great. But what is really annoying here is that within this text, it didn't highlight anything not automatically anyway. So that's, that's quite annoying. But anyway, I can see definitely here that my paper was highlighted here, was plagiar is plagiarized, which is what we wanted to see. And I, I've got this for $15. But again, this is no different to all of the free plagiarism checkers. Um, so I'm going to leave it up to you whether you want to use it or not. I would probably just stick to the free ones. 
And then I went to Scriba, Scriba.com. I typed in my text. Again, this is what annoying thing when they tell you it's, uh, you can check for free, but then this is the report they give you. They don't even tell you how much it's plagiarized. They just give you um, some sort of box standard image here. This is not even, you know, I can see multiple paragraphs here. In my document, I have two paragraphs. This is not even my file. This is just a random image. But it tells me that to unlock the report, the plagiarism report, I have to pay £14. So probably close to $20. And I now I want to just look at the pricing. So look, this is prices up a check. This is not a subscription model. And then if you're checking, checking something like a, a university dissertation, PhD thesis, literature review, it's going to be definitely 10,000 words, at least. You know, PhD thesis with references and everything will be above 50,000 words. So you're looking at paying 30 to $40 per check. And you submit this, you, you submit your work, you get your report, and then you probably wanted to pick something, you want to check something, and then you have to resubmit your work again. So you keep paying again and again. So that is... That is not okay. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't go this way. So here it is for you. So we have four plagiarism checkers that are paid. Two of them I would potentially use. The other two I wouldn't because of the way the pricing system works. But even there are 10 free plagiarism checkers uh, that gave me really obscure, weird results. And then finally there were six that were absolutely fine. So I would use V6 if, if I were you. And as always, if you benefit from this, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.